Hi, this is Sabratha and welcome to Word of the Day, where we use the UK's primary curriculum to build your vocabulary one word at a time. And today's word is system. I'd like you to give me your listening ears, children. It is going to be a long one today. We've got about six definitions to get through. So I would like you to make sure you focus, have your dictionaries ready if you would like to look things up, have your whiteboards and whiteboard pens if you would like to take notes, but all you need is yourselves and your listening ears. So let's get started. All the definitions of the word system are nouns. Definition number one. A set of things working together as parts of a mechanism or an interconnecting network, a complex whole. Here's an example sentence. The railway system was built over 100 years ago. So you have, in this case, a network of railway lines, of trains, of ticketing systems, and it is quite a complex network. So when you have a complex network that all are linked together and they work as a whole, then you have a system. And in this case, you have a railway system. Another way that the word system can be used in this umbrella definition is when a set of organs in the body with a common structure or function uh, is also referred to as a system. Here's an example sentence. The digestive system allows us to process the food we eat and to get energy. So now we have all the different systems in the body, one of which is the digestive system. The digestive system also, in turn, is broken up into different systems of the stomach, the intestines, and the first port of call of the digestive uh, system is the mouth, the chewing, the teeth, uh, and all the stuff that goes on in there. So you have the digestive system, which are each different networks in themselves, all working together to make sure we process our food correctly. So this is also another way that the word system can be used is when we're talking about our body and all the things that are going on inside it. The third way that the word system can be used as, a, as part of this umbrella definition is when you talk about the human or animal body as a whole. This is similar to the last definition that we've looked at, but it is a little bit different. Here's an example to illustrate the point. You need to get the poison out of your system. So now we're not talking about little different networks of things working together as a whole. The word system just refers to your body. So let's say somebody ate something poisonous and they needed to flush it out of their system and perhaps they needed to drink a lot of water. This is another way that the word system can be used to refer to the whole body uh, of an animal or a human. Definition number two. A set of principles or procedures according to which something is done. An organised scheme or method. Here's an example sentence. The GP is your first point of call in the health system. So in this case, now you're talking about an organisational structure uh, where you talk to where in this case you talk to different health professionals to find out what's wrong with you. The GP is always the first person that you go to, and if he can't fix it, then he will refer you to other medical professionals in hospitals. So the fact that the GP himself has to go through a procedure in referring a patient, or this whole thing is referred to as a system. Another way that the word system can be used in the second umbrella definition is when you talk about organised planning or behaviour. Orderliness. Here's an example sentence. There was no system at all in the company. So let's say somebody new started working there and all of the paperwork that was supposed to be in place, this person finds out isn't. Then you can describe that place as being unorganized and therefore having no system at all. So this is another way that the word system can be used. And finally, definition number three, the prevailing political or social order especially when regarded as oppressive. Now, this is a little bit more complicated to understand, as especially being children, you would not have had the life experience that adults would have. Now, some people feel 
that the way the world and life is organized that it favors some groups of people especially richer groups of people than others some people feel that it is harder for people with a lower income to get ahead as it is for people with a higher income and that society might not always be equal so some people try to do what's called beat the system in a number of different ways and that is usually quite illegal and involves criminal activity but the point is when people try to beat the system then it means that they're trying to get ahead so that they feel that they're going places in the world so that people feel that they are progressing in their life but they are trying to do it in a way that basically is not always legal here's an example sentence don't try and beat the system. Now, this doesn't have to be political. It can be in any area of life. Now, let's take sports, for instance. Sometimes you hear on the news how some athletes take drugs so that they can run faster or achieve and perform better. And this is might be considered as one of the ways that they try to beat the system that there are a set of rules in place to make sure that everything is fair and some people try and get around that and usually that's basically through means that's not always considered legal or fair so now that we've had a look at all of those examples now it's your turn to have a go at writing some sentences by yourself if you want to, you can work with a partner or an adult. In a minute, you're going to get a summary of all the definitions and I will give you, let's say, 10 minutes because you've got quite a few um, examples to have a look at and process. In that time, I'd like you to write at least five sentences on your whiteboards. So, if you can, try and write a sentence for each of the six definitions that we've looked at today. You've got 10 minutes on the clock, off you go.
Now the word system is pretty easy and straightforward to spell. It follows the natural syllables of the word and I like to break up the word like this. Sis, tum, sis, tum. It's spelt pretty much how it sounds. Now be careful, the first sound segment is spelt with a Y, not an I. And although the word system is used quite a lot, I'm pretty sure that most of you know that. But just to be on the safe side, the Y is highlighted in red. So let's see if you can have a go. You're going to get 10 seconds. And in a minute, the word is going to go away and you're going to get a chance to spell the word correctly without any help. Here is the word one more time for you to look at. And 10 seconds on the clock, off you go. Excellent children, let's see if you got that right. The word system is spelt S-Y-S-T-E-M. That's S-Y-S-T-E-M. Fantastic, guys. That was a long one today. Well done if you listened and paid attention all the way until the end. I think stickers or table points or any reward system that you have in the classroom is in order. Make sure you ask your teacher for those. Well done, children, and stay tuned tomorrow for tomorrow's word of the day, and I'll see you next time. Hi, teachers, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. The sun is out, so I'm glad. I'm literally just filming day after day now, trying to get ahead of uh, my filming and video schedule. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing quite well. I mean, the last 10 words, I'm really proud of myself and make sure you subscribe if you have any comments i would love to hear from you let me know how you're using my videos how are the children finding them do drop me a comment and give the video a big thumbs up if you found it useful subscribe to my channel stay up to date on everything spelling grammar and punctuation related i am going to be uploading full one hour long videos with resources which you can download from my website uh, check out the description box uh, for the link and lots and lots of content um, to come in the future. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you don't miss out. So take care, keep rested, make sure you take it easy guys and don't give yourselves a hard time, especially I know what the workload of teachers is like. So take care for now and uh, I'll see you next time. Maybe I should do an outfit change at 95.